The opioid crisis, this is Army Hato or Hato, the opioid crisis in my community in the Midwest of America greatly bothers me. I have been thinking about becoming a police officer. The culture hasn't been very favorable towards cops lately. Maybe, maybe majoring in law in grad school instead. Advice, please. Thanks. Well, if you're, if you're going to be a police officer, you should be very emotionally stable, so low in neuroticism and very high in conscientiousness. Um, if you're going to be a lawyer, you better be very bright first. You, you need to be extremely bright verbally in particular. Um, you need to be extremely conscientious. You need to be emotionally stable. You need, you need to be fairly disagreeable. That's, that's what characterizes lawyers. If you're high in openness and creativity, let's say, I would say neither cop nor law is a good occupation for you. So um, I wouldn't worry about the culture not being too favorable towards cops. That's, I don't think it's really any worse than it was. It's probably not as bad as it was in the 60s. And I don't think that it'll necessarily continue. I don't think you should let that stop you because, you know, the police have their own brotherhood and you'd find your community within that. Um, you want, I would say you should think more about what you want than how other people view the occupation. I know that's relevant, but you should think about what you want and um, think if, see if you can figure out if the life of a policeman would actually interest you or the life of a lawyer. Like lots of people go into law and don't like it. You have to be argumentative. You have to really be literate because there's so much reading and writing. You have to be able to write. You have to be able to lay out clear arguments. You have to be really orderly and detail oriented because there's so many things to keep track of. Um, so you got to make sure you got the right temperament for that. So you could try the big five personality scale uh, at understand myself. Um, like I said, the good lawyers are high in conscientiousness, low in neuroticism, pretty disagreeable. And then extroversion helps to some degree because it makes you better in the court. And it also makes you better at generating sales leads, which, you know, growing your business, which is super important if you're a lawyer. Like lots of people are competent lawyers, but only a small set of competent lawyers are also good at generating new business. And that makes you extremely valuable. So if you've got a salesman aspect to you, as well as those other traits, which makes you a pretty rare person, then, you know, you could be a bang up lawyer. So. But oh, you're so cool with your shapes on. I don't even know you. And all this time. It's better if we not go different ways Oh, I think she's